Thank you, Mr. Chairman, and thank you, Administrator McCarthy, for joining us today. Uh, uh, Madam Administrator, I'm sure you're familiar with the EPA's proposed rule released last July that proposed new greenhouse gas standards for medium and heavy-duty trucks. Yes, sir. Um, are you aware that in the middle of that proposed rule, there's a proposed proposal by EPA to make it illegal to modify vehicles used solely for competition? Uh, no, sir, I don't believe that that's what it says, but I certainly understand the section that you're talking about. Well, I, I can read the language to you. It says certified motor vehicles and motor vehicle engines and their emission control devices must remain in their certified configuration even if they're used solely for competition or if they become non-road vehicles or engines. Um, seems pretty clear to me. Um, you know, in your opinion, are owners of vehicles that have been modified uh, so they can be used for competition now in violation of the law? Sir, is, uh, there is a, a clear exemption in the statute um, that addresses NASCAR and other professional raceways and why we do not regulate those vehicles. I think we were very uh, directly trying to make sure that we are doing no more than what we've done before um, in terms of either compliance or enforcement. Um, and we're trying to recognize that exemption in that rule. Now, I fully recognize that it, this has raised a lot of confusion and we need to address this confusion moving forward because there is no way, NASCAR has been a great partner of EPA. They do great work on biofuels. The last thing I want to do is, is uh, well, sure. alienate them, that's well, for sure. I appreciate that, but NASCAR is one facet, yes. but what about your man or woman who likes to take a car in their backyard and fix it up and take it down to a local drag strip and, and race it. I mean, that, that kind of modification, it appears very clearly, is now ruled out. Well, we ha have never, ever uh, uh, enforced on an individual of that nature. What we're trying to do is get at manufacturers of these, these devices that they sell and make sure that they sell them only for competitive, dedicated uh, uh, vehicles because it's really challenging to us to make sure that the certified vehicles remain in compliance with, with air regulation. Uh, I appreciate what you're saying, but it says here emission control devices must remain in a certified configuration even if they're used solely for competition. I mean, it sounds different. The rule sounds different from what you're explaining. We, we'll, we'll do the very best we can. We actually uh, have, I, uh, we have, we've had substantial amounts of discussion. Whatever we can do to clarify this, we're going to be able to take those steps. Well, I think taking the word uh, solely used for competition out yeah. I'll have to see it in its entirety. I, I, I'm not a lawyer. I, I appreciate the need to use common sense language. I know that what I've, I've told you is what our intent was. We will make sure that the language matches that. Okay, well, I, I certainly appreciate that because um, not only is this an important part of the way of life for a lot of Americans who enjoy taking cars and modifying them so they can race, uh, but it's, it's a billion dollar industry uh, of aftermarket folks who make parts for people to use in competition. Um, it's, you know, I remember back in February, you testified before the committee and you made the point that uh, not one EPA regulation has ever cost one job. Well, I'm telling you, this is a billion dollar industry that would be wiped out if, if we can't clarify this and make sure uh, the intent you've expressed is reflected in the regulation. Thank you, sir. Thank you. That, Mr. Chairman, I yield back. Jim, you